Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing another important topic from the series of the UPSC Civil Services Examinations and the uh, frequently asked questions related to it, right? So now, we talk about someone who has not started the preparation yet. That means we are talking about the UPSC preparation from the zero level. That means you haven't started out with anything or maybe you even don't even have any idea about the exam. You just have made your mind towards working for this exam, right? So this might happen and it's completely normal. Of course, uh, even the toppers and everyone was a beginner once, right? So are you. And that's not really a problem I personally feel, right? So in terms of UPSC, the first thing that you need to acknowledge and realize is why do you want to do this? The why of the whole thing should be extremely clear to you because this will be the desire that will, you know, help you achieve great heights and also be your uh, burning desire in order to achieve things. Because there will be times during the preparation where you'll feel extremely demotivated, where you even might think of quitting, uh, right? And these things really happen with almost everyone, even the toppers, uh, needless to say. And it's a very common thing. Uh, you might think that might not happen with you, but uh, that's one of the biggest you know, myths that is there in these examinations. So first know why you're doing it, right? Research about uh, the services properly. Not only IAS, there is IFS as well, there is IPS as well, and various other government related jobs. Uh, you can, you know, you can have a quick recap of all the services, what do they do, what is their job profile, and etc. Right? So, once you have a steady research on what is it all about, then you can move on to the next step, which is researching about the UPS exam itself. Uh, as you already are aware, and uh, we all acknowledge the fact that it is one of the most toughest examinations in the country. But you do not need to be afraid because in despite of it being the toughest examinations, a lot of people from various backgrounds do attempt this paper and even go on to crack it. So can you, right? So it's not even about the competition, but it's about your preparation. It's about your passion towards this particular exam, right? So once all of these things are clear, once you know why you're getting into it and once you know the why of it, as I said, then you can start off with the UPSC syllabus, which is again the heart and soul of the whole paper, right? Because unless and until you do not know the specifications, unless and until you are not aware of the range of topics that might just come in the exam, then you won't be able to, uh, you know, jot down the topics basically. Because if I talk about UPSC, the syllabus is so vast and everything under the sun is important. You can go on uh, studying for it for almost two to three years, but the syllabus won't be done because it's that vast. So in such situations, you need to have a guide and that guide out here is your UPSC syllabus, which again is vast, but very specific as well. So you can jot down once you learn, almost learn and memorize the syllabus, then it gets very easy for you to, um, you know, narrow down your topics of studying as to where you should begin with, right? It becomes very easy. Right. Other than that, newspaper reading, again, as I've said in almost all of my videos when it comes to UPSC, that newspaper reading is something that is of crucial importance. As said by one of the toppers, almost 70% of the paper is current affairs. Right. So even if there, so what happens in UPSC is that even if they have to ask something from the theory part, something from the static part, they connect it with the dynamic part. Dynamic part is basically the current affairs, which is not, you know, which is not constant. It changes every second, even while I'm talking to you right now. Right. So in such scenarios, newspaper reading becomes extremely crucial and uh, following it religiously also matters. Make notes, make crisp and short notes so that you can revise because the revision again is of extreme importance when it comes to exam because there's so much to study and so much to recall. So how, what is the, the only mantra for recalling is practice and revision. So if you combine both of these strategies then surely you can do really, really well. And acknowledge that um, Time management also plays a very, very big role in this exam. You need to know as to how would you devote your time to various subjects which are there and also to your other commitments that are there 
you know throughout the day so for more such education content stay tuned to our channel and um, all the best to all the aspirants out there who want to turn their dreams into a reality stay tuned thank you